I'm hoping that some of you will have some answers out there for me. These questions, of course, are related to peak oil. Actually, what isn't related to peak oil these days? Not a lot. We are at $100 a barrel for oil right now, today. It might go up tomorrow, might drop. Why do you think that is? We've got the hurricanes. Um, it could be a supply and demand issue. Demand is exponentially increasing daily. So I'm wondering, what things do you believe govern this oil price fluctuation? What sorts of things in your life do you think peak oil will affect the quickest? I'm not talking about transportation or heating your homes so much because those are the obvious things. I'm thinking about the things that we take for granted, uh, we don't normally think are connected to oil products, petroleum products, superfluous things or things not necessary to the project of living and surviving. I'd be curious to know how you connect the dots of peak oil and what products in our lives um, will be affected. Because I think not all of us think about those things other than transportation, um, how we get our food, how we grow our food, how we get our food to us, and heating, heating our homes, you know, heating our buildings. I think that our communication needs to start being more grassroots. We have the internet, but certainly in the media, I'm not reading about peak oil. I'm not reading about the repercussions of peak oil and the necessity to take some action right now, not in 2020 or 2050 or in 2012. We need to start doing something right now. We need to tell our politicians that this is a topic that we need to be talking about nationally and locally in, in how we're going to set up our world for a future of less oil. And that's it. So, um, great. Let me know. Give me your thoughts. Give me your ideas. And uh, let's try to figure this out together. Um, because I think a lot of you have some great ideas. And uh, it'd be good to start moving some information, I think. All right. Cheers.